Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can build yourself a super simple guardian farm. This guardian farm doesn't require to drop in a lot of sand on the outside to remove the water around the ocean monument because we're keeping the ocean monument intact and are not removing the water on the outside. As you can see here the ocean monument is still intact and the water is still around here and some of the guardians are spawning on the outside but with a trick that we are AFKing in a certain position we are making the guardians in the outside despawn as you just saw over there. In the inside though, we've got a tank where the guardians are dropping down into a central area where they are dropping into a lava stream here and get killed as quickly as possible by the fire damage and then the items are collected in the chest. This guardian farm is producing about 6000 to 6500 drops per hour and this is of course way less than with another guardian farm where you've got all the water cleared on the outside. But therefore the farm is built up super quickly so you don't have to put a lot of effort into building this. If you want to build a more efficient and bigger guardian farm you can take a look in the video description there's a link to my guardian farm where I remove all the water which is producing around I think 16,000 items per hour but in my opinion this is not needed. This is all you need to provide your server with all the sea lanterns and prismarine you will ever need. So I'd say let's hop straight into the tutorial. Step 1 is pretty straightforward, you need to find an ocean monument and conquer it. I highly recommend using slime blocks for that because you can easily place and remove them even though elder guardians might still be alive. Then you can kill the elder guardians, go into the sponge rooms, get yourself the sponges and drain all the water out of the ocean monument. You don't need to destroy any blocks of the outer shell of the ocean monument for that. Once you've done that it should be pretty peaceful inside and you can easily remove blocks in the inside. First up I would recommend digging down from the top room all the way to the lower platform. I can do that with a fill command. Then next we want to count out 8 blocks from the side here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and make a 2x2 two two hole in the center. You can see that we've got the ocean underneath but no guardians can spawn there. And then repeat the same to the other side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then wherever those end we want to set up some walls and remove all the blocks in the inside. Now it should be looking something like this where you've got walls in place. I've used stained glass so we can still see the structure of the monument. And then a big room in the center which has 8 blocks to every side. Now we will take care of the killing mechanism before we have any guardian spawning. Therefore just go to the center and put a 2x2 two two block of something into the middle and then add some trapdoors on the outside. That is to prevent the guardians from jumping up when they are getting pushed into the center. And then remove the center blocks again and add a trapdoor on each side doesn't matter if it's right or left, uh, just so there's a too thick barrier at all points. Uh, then we go down into the center and we need to build a little bit of a shaft here so we have space to build. Three blocks down on two sides we want to have an opening then where we want to place some lava. For the lava we of course need again some blocks of water removed so we can actually place it. So just go to the outside and count out three blocks. That's the length that we need here and then encase that in some blocks so this is safe to build in and do that on both sides. Now once you've got that in you can simply remove the water from the inside there and then we can start putting in uh, the blocks to stop the lava from dropping in and uh, that is just going to be to science because we uh, will have the lava flowing and then the blade of the lava should uh, be running down here and then run down for three blocks so that's one two 
three and below that we want to have our signs if you want to you can replace the blocks i don't care too much right now about this because this is just for the tutorial uh, so i don't have to make it look that nice down here and uh, then before we place the lava we want to also collect our items so what i recommend is uh, building down three more blocks here so they've got a little bit of space to jump and then just run hopper lines into wherever you want to store your items for example we can put a little room here with a chest and uh, then maybe some slabs so we can uh, still see the guardians when they are dying if we want to be down here but uh, it might be a little uh, dangerous being down here because they might be able to shoot you but uh, this is basically what you need down here and once you've got that you can uh, go to the space up here and uh, then place the lava in. Just be careful that you don't get burnt. Maybe take a fire resistance potion or put in some blocks so the lava can't hurt you right away. But now you can see that the lava is just flowing to the center and then meeting up there and flowing down for three blocks so the guardians will just take the right amount of damage. Placing the water is also quite straightforward. You may notice from iron golem farms we need to have water along the edges and then one in the corner and this is simply done by starting at the third block and putting the water up to the third block. So here then one in the corner this will flow down and make a nice current everywhere so the guardians will be flushed into the center. Just be careful that you don't place any water in the corner or you may uh, create a whole level out of uh, water here and then even get rid of your lava down there. Now take yourself a disposable block and fill in the level where the water is actually in the corners. Um, so we can place then fence gates on top of here. Which you all need to open so the guardians can fall through here and then remove the dirt afterwards so the guardians can fall through. Remember to replace the water in the corners so those are not missing. At this point we do have two possibilities of finishing this up. The first one is if you want to keep the outside of the monument intact, then you would just fill the inside with water by just adding a layer of blocks right here at this level where you still can place some water. Fill the whole level in and fill a level of water and then you can fill up the stuff above um, with water as well so it's all filled to the top. Or you can um, go to the outside, remove the blocks above you and uh, then fill in walls right here to the top of the oceans where the guardians can spawn and by doing so we make sure that any guardian that spawns on top of the guardian temple here will also fall down into our farm. This is completely up to you which way you want to prefer and I think that I'm going to build up the way right now where we remove the blocks on top. And of course we should also remove the sea lanterns so they are not in the way and then once you've got all the walls in place you can also add a roof on top so there is uh, no sky access for the guardians. Now the last question is where should you afk for this farm? The answer is pretty simple because this solves another problem. It is all the way up in the sky. I recommend to stand at a level of 140 because the guardians down there are dying at a level of 33 I think. And so we are about 110 blocks higher which means that the possibility for guardians to despawn is higher for those that are just falling down on the outside and uh, then those will just despawn also. The same goes for caves because anything that is further than 128 blocks away from the player will instantly despawn. So the guardians that are dying in the lava over here 
will not despawn as quickly because they are quickly dying and uh, are not dropped out of the range of the player but still we're getting a lot of drops because the other mobs on the outside that are just idling are despawning and so a lot of guardians are spawning inside our fish tank. So I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial, if you did then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends and I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day!